There's a model who's accused of stabbing her boyfriend, and she's now claiming he walked into the knife multiple times. You you often hear, Lewis, there's this kind of stereotypical um, uh, deception where you see in movies and popular culture and sometimes in real life a kid with bruises or typically a, a wife with bruises. And it's abundantly clear that it's because a parent or spouse has been hitting them. And when you ask them what happened, they say, I walked into a door. I uh, uh, fell down the stairs completely on, you know, just completely on my own. And there's this kind of understanding that, OK, you just don't want to say that your dad punched you or your husband pushed you into the wall. And this is exactly the argument that is being made by the model that is accused of stabbing her boyfriend. This is a Florida model named Shade Scott. She's accused of stabbing her boyfriend after they fought about his dog eating her marijuana. Speaking of legalization, the boyfriend, Keith Wiggins, claims that Shade Scott repeatedly stabbed him during a fight that started when his dog consumed her stash of marijuana. And at that point, uh, she was in the process of kicking him out of the apartment. Wiggins said he couldn't find his computer. And at that point, he alleges that she stabbed him. So when when Shade Scott was talking to police, she had a different story. She says the couple was arguing about dinner plans. It became physical when she tried to leave the apartment and that at that point he walked into the knife she was holding multiple times and cut himself. The judge set her bond at thirty five hundred bucks, says she can't possess a knife or get within five hundred feet of her boyfriend. We don't know what happened to the to the dog, according to the pet poison hotline. Marijuana intoxication in dogs can lead to severe depression and walking drunk, although it is not considered to be fatal. You know, the story sounds completely absurd, Lewis, but based on the fact that it is Florida and based on the crime stories we see out of Florida, it's not completely impossible that the guy walked into a knife multiple times, but it doesn't seem very likely. Right. We have to be uh, realistic about this. We have to use some rationale. <laughs> and uh, what are those chances? I incredibly slim. I actually blame the dog for the entire thing. Well, uh, you could. You certainly could. I don't think PETA would agree, but right, uh, of course. you can certainly make that accusation. It sounds like the weirdest night of the dog's life where the, the dog is uh, uh, has consumed uh, one of his owner's marijuana stashes and then sees his other owner repeatedly walk into a knife. The dog probably thought it was seeing things. <laughs> yeah, if it was if it was thinking anything at all, it was probably just uh, hiding somewhere from all the commotion. All right. Facebook.com slash David Pakman show. Join us on Facebook. We will be back after this. We will talk about uh, responsible gun ownership. We will talk about 3D printers. Your voicemails are coming up later. Get the government shutdown membership special, davidpackman.com slash shutdown. Become a supporter.